everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are gonna get down and dirty and we are going to cut up some bricks, you guys. I really like doing this type of video. While it may seem super, super simple, I feel like this is one I really like to do around brick promotions. Typically, Scentsy will run a brick promotion usually once a year, but this year we are blessed because we have a spring brick promotion. Um, and in case you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll stick around. We like to talk all things big and ginormous. <laughs> Um, so this is a Scentsy brick. So when you're ordering a Scentsy bar, this is what you're getting. So it's five and a half, almost six times the size of a bar that you're getting in a hand poured brick, which is fantastic. I love how giant they are. Um, you get a really good bang for your buck. And if it's a scent you really, really love, you've got a whole lot of it. <laughs> so this is a, a video that I typically like to do because you will see the brick cubes are quite larger than bar cubes. Now, a lot of our full size warmers, if they have a number four on the bottom of the dish, you should be able to put one full brick cube into your warmer. That's not typically what I do. I like to cut my brick cubes in half and then I will put them in the full size warmers. Mini warmers, I'll usually quarter the brick cubes um, and then use that for the for the mini warmers. But for full size, I'll usually just cut these in half. Um, but you can, if, you're, if your dish has a little number four on the bottom, you should be fine to put a whole brick cube in there. But like I said, if you're like me, you don't wanna go through the entire brick super, super quick, even though, even though I have lots and lots of brick and I can afford to lose some of my bricks <laughs> or warm through some of my bricks, um, I just feel like it's a little bit wasteful because I don't necessarily feel like I get more scent power, scent strength, scent throw. Um, the bigger, the more amount of wax that I'm using in the warmers themselves. but. Anyways, I um, figured I would do this video and just to show you, this is a great example of how I'm able to get through the amount of wax that I do each and every week. When we do the uh, weekly what I've been warming videos, we go through my basket and it's just filled with clamshells, whether they are bar size, whether they are brick size and it never fails. There's always people who are like, how I don't even get through that much wax in a year. We are gonna go through half of a brick, the remaining brick just here in this room. Now this is a little bit excessive because since this is my filming room, I do have more warmers than necessary, but you can see I'm going to go through this entire half, I was gonna say this entire brick. I'm gonna go through the rest of my remaining wax in this brick, which I've got half of it left here just in this room because I do use these warmers and I have wax in all of the warmers. They're not just for decor. I'm like, hey, I like my scent strong, so why not just use all of my warmers? <laughs> so I do. So we will go ahead and, um, and do that together. But I do wanna show you just a couple of comparison like side by sides. Um, also, it, when, if you are getting your bricks for the first time and you're like, oh my gosh, because um, I'll show you when we jump over to the table and start like cutting them. Um, when you open up your brick, it's all gonna be one solid, uh, one solid brick of wax. So you will just kind of, you'll see what I just did there. I just kind of like bent the clamshell a little bit and it kind of made a break right there. I'm gonna break this here as well. And then I'm just gonna pop this wax out. Hopefully you can see this, but I'm gonna show you again, like a better like view of this. I just wanted to show you a couple of things really quick before we jump over to the table. So this is a brick cube. <laughs> this is a brick cube. This is a bar cube. So you can see the dramatic size difference here. So not all warmers are gonna be able to take this, right? And you don't wanna have an overflow. You don't wanna have a accident because that's not gonna be fun for anybody. So that's where this video comes in. I am gonna show you how to cut your Scentsy brick cubes. Um, I typically will use, I just purchased this set on Amazon. Um, this is just, it's, I think they call it actually soap cutters. What I'll do is I will link this link down below in the description if you are interested in picking up some of these. Um, but this came in a set of two, it was really affordable. Um, and these are just soap cutters. So these are designated just for my bricks. So I don't need 
to dirty up a butter knife or anything like that. Um, that's really the only other real method I think is just using like a butter knife. If you're going to use a knife of any sort, just be really careful. Even these are kind of sharp. Um, this one has like a little bit of like an edge to it. This is kind of like a, a crinkle cut design here if you care I, I don't i don't care it's all gonna be melted down but i know some consultants um uh, instead of making like samples that are in cute little shapes and stuff they'll use the crinkle cutters so that at least it has like a little bit of like a cute edge to it i guess um or you can do this one here which is just like a, a straight a straight edge so you can see i use both they're dirty <laughs> so i use both um i'll just use because i've got one that i usually keep in here and i've got one that i keep in the basket in a basket in my kitchen um depending on where i'm going to be cutting up some bricks so i like to have these at like an arm's reach whenever I need them. So, um, but yeah, so you can use these, like I said, I'll link these on, uh, from Amazon, um, or you can use like a butter knife or, or anything like that to cut these up. So, but definitely, um, I would suggest cutting these. Like I said, you, you can, if you've got a full size warmer that has a number four on the bottom and you'll see one of the warmers that I'm going to use. Um, I am going to put a full cube in there. Um, I just, I kind of, look at it based on because some of a lot of these warmers that you are going to see in this room here with me today as we're putting the wax in the warmers they'll all like a lot of them will say four but they are shaped differently so i don't know some of them look smaller even though they have the same number four some of the dishes just look smaller to me and so i'm like i don't trust it <laughs> I usually don't go over three cubes um, of regular wax, but in like a larger, like there, I'll, I'll show you, you're gonna see like my dancing petals warmer. That's a nice, like a nice big dish. So I'm not worried about any overflow or anything with that. Polar Panorama has a really nice big dish as well. Um, Chasing Fireflies has a nice big one. There's a lot, there's plenty of warmers that have nice big dishes, but there's some that are just a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to play with fire on this one or wax in this case. <laughs> so, um, all right. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and hop over to the table and do some cutting of these brick cubes. Okay, are you guys ready to get cutting? So um, I have, I'm just gonna use this, uh, the crinkle, the crinkle cutter here to cut the remaining cubes. Now, what I will say is based on the number of warmers and the fact that I like to use half, um, half of a cube in my full size warmers, I'll actually have one cube left over. Um, and that's because I'm even using one full cube in one of my warmers just to kind of show you kind of what I look for. Um, but I'm not going to leave just one cube remaining. That would drive me nuts. <laughs> so I, I will not do that. So even if it means I take that, um, I take that cube and I put it in a different warmer throughout my house, or in this particular situation, what I'm going to do is I'll actually cut this, um, the last cube in two quarters probably, and just add it into some of the other ones that have just half a cube, because I know the full size ones, the full size warmer should be okay with a full cube. So I'm not going to do a full cube. It'll be like three quarters basically. So once everything's all like said and done, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that for my dancing petals warmer. And then what I like to do is I, I'll just put some, I don't know if you can see this or not, or not but, um, I'll just put, <gasps> got a FedEx delivery. <laughs> so Ranger says hi. Um, so I'll just put some paper towels here because you'll see it can get kind of like, you've got just these little like broken pieces of wax and stuff. So just to kind of keep it nice and clean. Now, when you get your, um, your brick, like I was showing you earlier. So what you'll want to do is I just like to bend the clamshell a little bit. We have a nice soft wax to work with, so it doesn't take a lot just to kind of break these cubes apart. So I'll just do that again here. You can see broke really super easy. And now I've got all of my brick cubes portioned out here and I will pop these out like so. So I've got that here. I think since that's the smaller cube, I think that'll be the one that I kind of like portion out. Um, and then we have our remaining cubes here. So let's do some cube cutting. Okay. 
and there is something so satisfying about finishing up a brick <laughs> and adding it to my empties basket. Um, by the way, we are gonna be warming up the last of my Orchard by the Sea brick. Still currently available, fantastic scent. Absolutely phenomenal, love it. Okay, so we'll keep, we'll keep this one for my dancing petals. Not that it actually matters because they're all right about the same size. So I'm just gonna take my crinkle cutter and I'm going to just split this in half. Hope you can see this okay. And it's like I said, it's a nice soft wax. So it's not, and that's another reason why I like to put a couple of paper towels under here, just so you're not like damaging <laughs> any table or whatever. So there you have it. So it's cut in half, just like that. I think this is equivalent to about two bar cubes. So I think that's pretty perfect. So we've got that there. And then we'll just cut this one in half. that there another half here and same thing you can um, just keep cutting if you want to add these to mini warmers or anything you're gonna see how I am going to um, portion out the other one but I mean you can even like cut these in like little squares even um, so there is no right or wrong you, you do you so and see look this is all the like little bits of wax and stuff so at the end what i'll do is when i'm done um putting the wax into the warmers i'll actually just pick this paper towel towel up and i'll just like put it into one of the warmers so that way i'm not just throwing away these little like crumbs okay let's do this one okay got that there see how simple Super simple. And then this one is gonna be the one that I'm going, this is the random leftover cube here. <laughs> so I'm just going to portion this one out. Um, I'll cut this into, I said quarters, but this is a little bit smaller. So I think I'm going to cut it into thirds. But like, even if I, so see, I just cut it into thirds just like that. Super easy, simple. But even if you wanted to, oh look, <laughs> it kind of fell apart there. So that just gave me a little added extra. But you could even cut this in half again here. If maybe you're not wanting as much wax in your warmer, if maybe you're sensitive and you want to start off with um, a smaller amount of wax, you totally can. Or if you're doing this for a mini warmer, you know, that's just how simple you can, there are no rules. You can cut this however, many portions, however many ways you want to. Ta -da! So there you go. So we've got this one portioned up into smaller sections because we're just gonna kind of distribute that into some of the other warmers. So now let's go ahead and place these, the one full one and then the halves in the other warmers that are right behind me in this room. Okay, so now let's distribute our wax. So this is what I was saying earlier. Both of these dishes have a number four on the bottom and what I'm talking about in case you are new here, you'll see a little number four on the bottom of my dancing petals dish. Uh, most of our full size warmers will have a number four on it, um, which means you can use up to four cubes in your warmer at a time. That's bar cubes, not brick cubes, friends. <laughs> But do you see what I mean? So both of these dishes have a number four on the bottom. This one to my eye looks smaller. It is slightly taller, but I don't know. To my eyeballs, this just looks like a smaller wax dish and I'm not comfortable with like putting a full brick cube in there. <laughs> I really wouldn't wanna put more than two cubes in that warmer dish. Um, it's fine because it does say that there's a number four on the bottom, so we're okay. But uh, this Dancing Petals warmer dish just looks a lot bigger to me, so I'm just much more comfortable putting a full brick cube in that one as opposed to in my pink champagne warmer. So, all right, let's get to distributing some wax, shall we? Okay, so first up we have Dancing Petals. This is the one that's getting the full brick cube. Do you see why this gives me some anxiety? <laughs> and typically what I'll do if I do use a full brick cube in a warmer, 
just for my mind I will still like cut it up and that way it's like doesn't look quite so massive but it's fine we're just we're just gonna roll with it <laughs> by the way do you see how pretty those colors are in this warmer it's so pretty okay let's get to the others okay next we have Nova over here I love this one too that's a new warmer so pretty this is the coastal light warmer this warmer was actually earned through an incentive I love it bringing out our wild side here <laughs> we've got dragonfly away down below here pink champagne Two more warmers. We've got Perfect Poppy there. And right next to it. See, and even that warmer dish says it can take four cubes. I'm not putting a full brick cube in there. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Okay, so now we've got the one brick cube left to distribute among these warmers. So that's the remaining cube that we cut up. So now let's put it in just some of the random warmers. We're definitely not adding any more to dancing petals. <laughs> I don't think my brain can take that. Um, we'll add a little bit more to Nova here. We'll add a little bit more to my incentive warmer. Dragonfly away I think can take another little bit there. And we still have Savannah. I think Savannah is going to be fine. Pink Champagne. Eh. I'll leave that one because we just have two little pieces left. So I think we'll do Perfect Puppy. And this one here. There you have it. We have put in half of a brick amongst the warmers in my Sensi room. All right, you guys, so now that we have cut up the remainder of my brick together, I hope you found this helpful. I like to do this video from time to time, especially during brick promotions, um, but also you can get bricks through Sensi Club. So you can actually get your hands on bricks this size um, throughout the year, but through Sensi Club. Through Sensi Club, um, you can get your hands on not every single scent that's available in, in the catalog, uh, but some of our best selling fragrances. And that is a, I think a Sensi club perk which is uh sensi club is our auto ship program so any of our consumable products you can get on an ongoing basis you can have it come to you every one two or three months totally on your schedule um, and bricks are just another added perk to that because bricks aren't available through the catalog as an individual order throughout the entire year. Typically, it's just during the holidays, during the holiday brick event. But this year is special because Sensi decided to bless us with a spring brick event. So, um, so there's that. But yeah, like I said, time to time, I like to do this video just in case there's anyone who might be newer. Um, and if you are newer to Sensi, uh, welcome to the love of all things bricks. <laughs> I am obsessed with bricks. So if you stay here and hang out, hang out with me, um, you will hear me talk about bricks all the dang time because it's just something that I get super, super excited for. Um, it's always something fun to look forward to. And there's just something so satisfying about cutting bricks and about finishing bricks. It's fantastic. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know which method do you use? Do you use these soap cutters? Do you use a butter knife? Do you have another cutting method or are you just like, living on the wild side and you're like, I don't need to cut my brick cubes. I use the whole dang cube. Do it. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Do what works best for you. But I, I hope this was helpful and I hope this helps you savor and keep your bricks lasting a little bit longer. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Sensi. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.